Good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening uh, to everyone attending this uh, event from different uh, parts of the, uh, the world. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the uh, events uh, organizers uh, for putting together this rather well uh, needed uh, event at this time, the Sudan uh, FinTech uh, Summit. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for taking the time to attend this uh, session today where I'll be uh, talking about the opportunities for uh, digital and uh, payment uh, solutions as Sudan uh, rejoins the uh, global uh, economy. Uh, first of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is uh, Tamer Almoj, uh, the Managing uh, Director uh, for Codebase uh, Technologies uh, in the MENA region alongside uh, Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh. If you allow me just to pull out my screen uh, to go through the uh, presentation. A little bit uh, uh, about uh, uh, Codebase uh, technology and who we are. Uh, Codebase uh, Technologies uh, is a global uh, open API banking solution provider uh, that enables banks and financial institutions both on the conventional and Islamic uh, side, as well as emerging uh, fintech uh, ecosystem to demystify digital uh, financial services. Uh, we take pride in helping organizations uh, create and deliver innovative and intuitive uh, experiences across customer uh, life cycles. Uh, with presence and uh, customers across four continents uh, today, code-based technology with its award-winning uh, suite uh, of products, including uh, the innovation, uh, uh, innovative uh, Digibank, uh, a comprehensive uh, one-stop bank in a box, uh, if you like, uh, that helps uh, its customers unlock the true potential uh, of the next uh, generation uh, of digital uh, financial ecosystems. We have been uh, uh, supercharging uh, uh, digital uh, banking for a while now. Uh, uh, Zand in the UAE uh, uh, had built and launched uh, the GCC's first completely virtual and digital bank to address the need uh, for digital products across uh, uh, the uh, BFSI uh, uh, frontier and uh, a benchmark using uh, the best in breed uh, technology uh, practices. Uh, zooming into uh, Bahrain uh, in the GCC, uh, Jazeel uh, launched uh, uh, Bahrain's first uh, completely digital uh, banking arm of Kuwait uh, Finance House to address the growing uh, demand for digital uh, banking products and uh, shift towards customer-driven uh, financial uh, solutions. <clears throat> Our latest uh, work uh, uh, between Jordan and Iraq Capital Bank uh, developing and launching uh, Jordan Iraq's uh, first fully digital uh, bank, uh, if you like, for retail and SMEs uh, clients, uh, mainly to, to, to bridge uh, the financial inclusion uh, gap for over 40 million uh, unbanked uh, citizens uh, between the two uh, nations. Uh, in Pakistan, more specifically Dubai Islamic uh, uh, Bank, uh, so Pakistan's first bank to offer the complete uh, uh, array uh, of digital financial uh, services, uh, including instant digital uh, onboarding and account uh, opening for overseas uh, Pakistanis residing uh, all over the world. From uh, a digital banking uh, landscape uh, perspective, uh, uh, if we uh, look and zoom in uh, today, uh, more than 35% of uh, uh, all banks reserve uh, revenue, I mean, uh, uh, already is at risk uh, today uh, from tech uh, uh, savvy uh, incumbents. Uh, close to 3% uh, expected uh, CAG, uh, CAGR growth between 2019 and uh, 2024. Uh, also close to 4 billion users uh, predict uh, to be using uh, uh, digital uh, banking by uh, uh, 2024, and that's just around the corner in less than uh, uh, two years. Uh, basically, digital banking is the cornerstone uh, uh, for digital uh, financial uh, revolution, and the revolution is happening as we, as we speak. Uh, uh, looking at the global uh, status uh, and adoption, uh, generally speaking, uh, uh, financial technology, uh, 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 the adoption uh, of, of the internet users, for example, and we have big numbers and uh, uh, adoption rates uh, uh, throughout uh, India, China, followed by UK, Hong Kong, and uh, the rest of the world. But uh, uh, this, this slide uh, in specific and these numbers uh, uh, tell us that it's a growing adoption. Uh, the internet users are there. Uh, whom are the first to jump and take advantage uh, of that are definitely the financial services and the fintechs. And it's growing at an accelerating uh, uh, rate. Uh, 
So that gives us an idea that, that the opportunity is there and it's growing every day and uh, financial services is needed and goes hand in hand with the internet uh, adoption and, and, and use around the world. Uh, a banking leader perspectives, uh, when we look at the connected uh, products and services that will evolve over the next uh, three years, and we say it's around uh, close to, to 80%, that's a quite a big, uh, a big uh, uh, number or percentage, uh, if you like. And then rapid innovations uh, uh, that are disrupting uh, the, the, uh, the industry today are growing tremendously, uh, touching on 70% uh, uh, rate. Uh, generally speaking, uh, banks uh, need to turn to customers. Uh, sorry, so, uh, banks need to turn customers into partners these days, and the old-fashioned way in doing things will not work anymore. Uh, looking at a percentage close to 90%, that gives us a, a closer idea and understanding that the, the, the importance of, of doing so uh, is vital if banks want to survive and they want to do the best uh, they can in this uh, uh, developing uh, times. Uh, also, uh, uh, the need to enhance the human-centric uh, uh, tech applications and around the customer itself is something uh, vital. Challenges are, are there, definitely. Uh, the digital ecosystem is witnessing that uh, uh, every day. Uh, developing the technology platform has been uh, uh, the, definitely a challenge uh, that we're seeing uh, uh, in different uh, places around the region, more specifically. Uh, creating uh, the consistency and uh, from a, an experience uh, perspective is, is vital. Uh, ecosystems and the priority in, in managing that, that needs to be uh, looked at all the way to the products and services. But in my uh, humble opinion today, uh, partnership and collaboration and managing that uh, uh, is vital for any financial institution today that wants to grow and wants to uh, adopt uh, new technologies uh, as they go further. The main question that resides with, uh, with us, uh, uh, all of us uh, today, is Sudan ready for, for digital? Uh, in my, also, in my opinion and, and my teams uh, today, when we look at uh, uh, who's, doing, uh, who's adopting the technology, who's using it, uh, we look at two main generations, uh, which, are, which are the millennials, uh, uh, known as uh, Generation Y and then uh, Generation Z. Uh, millennials are, are people that are between the age of 25 and 40, and these are like heavy users uh, of, of technology today and uh, adopting it, and as well as the fact that they are in the workforce and, and out there. Uh, the, the newborns today, or the Generation Z between the age of 6 and, and uh, 24, are coming to market, and if we combine both Generation Y and Generation Z uh, together, they present uh, more than 65% of the population in, in Africa. So are we ready? Is Sudan ready? The answer is definitely yes, and now is the time. So when we look at the millennials or Generation Y, and these are in the workplace uh, uh, dealing with banks and uh, in the workforce, uh, they represent uh, more than 75% of the population. And these are the main uh, segment of people that are ready to switch banks for just a better mobile uh, app and user experience. So that gives you uh, an idea of, 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 of how ready we are and uh, uh, who's out there and doing uh, what at the time uh, uh, being. Uh, Sub-Saharan uh, African stats, uh, we look at, at, uh, at numbers and percentages here. So smartphone uh, penetration uh, is close to 50%. We're looking at uh, close to uh, uh, half a billion mobile internet users uh, in just three years' uh, time, uh, with uh, with uh, contribution to the GDP in less than two years or within two years, close to two hundred uh, billion dollars. Uh, focusing more on the stats of, of Sudan itself, uh, we look at uh, close to eighty percent smart smartphone uh, penetration. Then we look at uh, uh, close to forty million. Uh, mobile uh, or mobile uh, connections. And an interesting number is the uh, internet uh, penetration uh, exceeding 30%, where I just remember a few years ago, it was just under uh, 10, 10%. Uh, Sudan is, is definitely uh, ready today, and it's a trusted place, trusted uh, uh, market. Uh, we see uh, big names and big players such as Visa, MasterCard uh, present on the ground in Sudan. Uh, we see uh, uh, fintech investment taking place, uh, uh, exciting blockchain implementations uh, 
uh, a lot of initiatives uh, uh, happening on the ground, uh, science, technology, innovation, a lot of initiatives, and definitely one of the key aspects that I see is non-Islamic uh, banking uh, taking place as well. Uh, some of our uh, success uh, stories that uh, were mentioned earlier in, uh, in my slides, uh, uh, focusing uh, deeper into them, uh, which is uh, uh, starting with uh, Dubai Islamic ba Bank in, in Pakistan. So it's the first digital onboarding and capital investment product, uh, for sure, uh, from an Islamic uh, digital bank uh, perspective. Uh, some, some nice numbers here that shows that an average conversion rate within uh, just the pilot stage exceeded 80%. Uh, a reduction in acquisition and operating costs, that's, that's tremendous for any financial institutions to look at. Uh, uh, we take pride uh, because of our agility uh, at code-based uh, technology and implementation, and implementation just under uh, 22 days with an MVP uh, product launched uh, with a dig digital KYC. Uh, an investment uh, proposition is something uh, uh, to look at uh, and uh, try to, to uh, replicate else, elsewhere. Uh, Jazeel, uh, the digital arm at, at KFH, uh, also some of the uh, numbers that we've noticed uh, uh, were uh, close to 80% increase in customer engagement on, the, on our uh, digital uh, Digibank um, uh, platform. Uh, close to 50% increase in cross-sale ratio, cards, investment, uh, loans. 80% uh, increase in frictionless uh, uh, customer con conversion. And let me stop here at, at that conversion rate, uh, uh, which is around 80%. It means every single person that had downloaded uh, the Jazeel application was turned uh, successfully into a customer of that uh, bank. Again, a reduction uh, uh, of more than 60% or touching on 60% of, of in acquisition and uh, onboarding uh, costs. Uh, when looking at the future outlook, I'd like to leave you with uh, just a few uh, uh, words here. Uh, definitely Sudan uh, is ready. Africa is there, is ready. Uh, I would say go digital. Uh, do not hesitate. Uh, cloud uh, native strategy uh, uh, should be picked up. Uh, optimize acquisitions, uh, lower uh, operation, uh, operating uh, cost. Uh, uh, definitely do a lot of collaborations uh, with fintechs, with companies on the ground. Uh, uh, leverage on that technology across your customer lifecycle. Uh, try to create that technology experience that is tailored to your, specifically to your customers. Uh, most importantly, I would say is engage uh, your customers, listen to them, listen to their needs, uh, uh, deliver new services to them that would uh, uh, make them pick it up and, and uh, uh, finally enhance uh, those uh, transactions and the management uh, uh, around them. I do thank you very much. Uh, I hope I didn't take much of your time uh, today. I hope it was uh, uh, as exciting for you as uh, it is for me. I look forward to meeting you on the ground very soon uh, in Sudan. Uh, hopefully this pandemic will be over soon and uh, our human touch will, will take place uh, again. Assalamu alaikum. Have a pleasant uh, day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.